guys, this is former WCW wrestling star Glacier. Make sure to tune in to Chat, Grapple, and Cheap Pops with my buddies JB and Chris. So make sure to tune in whenever you can, or else blood may run cold on you. <laughs> what is up, wrestling friends and family? Welcome back. It is me, JB, and the man sitting next to me, the best Chris in all of wrestling podcasts, Mr. Chris Dredd. How are you, man? All right, mate. Fucking cream crackered. As a you, you sound a bit rough, man. Like you had got a bit of a cold or something. No, I don't think so. No, all good. Yeah, no. just that that husky man voice. You know what I'm saying? Just that fucking yeah, mate. <laughs> gravelly. <laughs> that gravelly tones, bro. Yeah, man. I'm all right, mate. You know what I mean? Just drinking a little Highland Spring. You know, no, no product we, we, placement. We lead different lives, man. All right. Very different. All right, CM Punk. <laughs> Pepsi JB, I'm going to call you from now on. <laughs> we are doing things a little differently this week. We are, it's a pretty quick one from, you know, what we have to do with the rest of this week and what we've been, what we've had going on. It's been busy. Everybody's tired, but we can't leave you guys without your fix of Chris and JB. Of course. You know, we we slapped a couple memes out there couple, over the last few days. JB's hitting up the, the the social media i've chucked a couple memes up there but we do have a guest coming on don't we jb we do indeed and we look forward to that guest coming on next week he's coming on monday as locked in as can be it's like yeah. this bruv and i've been chatting to this guy how many how long bruv have i been chatting to this guy a little while yeah to be fair to him do you know what i mean he's come true yeah so well, I mean, we'll see if he comes through Monday. You know what I'm saying? You know oh, them yeah, ones about wrestlers, see. bro. But, yeah. yeah, the guy's been true to... He, he, and, you know, we've been very, very excited to get this guy on. And I'm I'm almost salivating with excitement about getting this guy on. Well, as with any wrestling show, cards subject to change. Absolutely. We would you know, always put that in there. But, yes, as long as this comes through, it is a wonderful idea. And we are thrilled to have a guest like this on absolutely let's not muck about you already know where we are you can find us at chat grapple pops you can see it on the on the bottom there facebook twitter instagram and tiktok soon Good. soon only fans <laughs> very soon the only fans it's happening i've got a bone to pick with the wrestling world pick them fam because this week in the space of a day not only did the wrestling world, the IWC, the rag sheets decide that they were going to jump all over Roman Reigns being at money in the bank. Did we not just talk about that last week? So that's my first problem is that we spoke about it last week. We knew the score. We knew what was going to happen. Come and see us, you know, for all your updates and weekly news from now Trust on. Me, bro. We know we got these things on lock, mate. Yeah, there's no need to worry about what Uncle Dave is telling you. There's no need to find out what some sap is telling you. Right. Come and see you're my, us. You're my wife now, Dave. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> my second bone is AW Collision being announced. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody wants to know about it. We were talking about it last week. Yeah, we were, dude. Nice T-shirt as well, by the way. Well, well I wanted to get the AEW Collision logo. Oh, wait, sorry. That's, That's right. <laughs> Too easy, man. Low hanging fruit that is. Nevertheless, it had to be said. It did, and I'm I'm not annoyed. It just shows you that we are the guys. We, we are, are the guys. We are the guys, bruv. We are. We we've been on point with a few things. Who did we say was going to be in the final for the new title in WWE? Who said that on our last? We made show? we made a very very bold prediction, maybe even a spoiler to those yep. that listened that AJ Styles would be the one to meet Seth Rollins at Night of Champions and boom and it happens bro we we say we said that shit we say yeah. it it happens so not only is Tony Khan watching us Trips is obviously watching us as well fucking amazing stuff yeah it's it's not me being mad at the IWC or anything like that but it would be nice for we I once coined a phrase which was used by another podcaster. Bishop was right. How about JB was right? How about Chris was right? <laughs> That's right. You know, we were right about these things. Yeah. I mean, 
Yeah, fucking hell. I we to be honest, I know we're gonna we're, we're I mean it's like in in the UK right now. It's pretty late, man. I mean, you know, I've dragged JB out of his out of his bed. He should be asleep right now. I've I've been working late and I've I've kept him up, bless him. But and we're only supposed to do a little short one tonight. But I've got a couple of bits to say about fucking things that are going on, man. Like, you know, I don't know if if it was last week. Did we talk about the 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 um, Kenny Omega and Moxley match? Yes, it was mentioned. Bruv, I'm seeing people. If you watch that match, okay, you know that it w- really weren't shit, bruv. Don Callis comes out with like a screwdriver, like acting like he's stabbing a man in the face. If you actually did that in real life, you would kill a man, right? Beyond you know, charges, man. Yeah, bruv, it's absolutely fucking insane, bruv. But then in this, in, since it's happened um, a week ago or whenever it fucking happened. I'm hearing people talking about, oh, that was the greatest match. Oh, uh, you know, these guys are the pinnacle of, of wrestling right now and all this stuff. And I'm like, I mean, come on, like for reals, like get a fucking grip. And again, I've heard, I've heard more uh, even today talking about collision that CM Punk was supposed to be there. And for whatever reason, now he ain't there. Well, yeah, as far as we know, he's not on the press release for it. It was it was the likes of Miro, Thunder Rosa, Powerhouse Hobbs, I think, Andrade was on there as well. So But you can see, and I'm this is again a bold statement. We love making our bold statements because as soon as we make a bold statement, um JB makes a TikTok of it. So this is another bold fucking statement. Okay. I love it, man. Fucking, <laughs> you do love it, you schlag. Um, JB, this is a hot take, brother. It, it, Tony Khan's a fucking pussy. He's a fucking pussy, okay? He, ha- he has not got the balls to take control of his own company. He has not even got the balls to tell people that he's not renewing their contracts. He has not got the balls to just stand in front of someone and tell them how it is. He's a fucking pussy old. How we say in the UK, man's a pussy old, you get me? Who was the um the young lady that they didn't renew her contract? And the only way she found out about it was through some other ways and means of Lever Bates. Yeah, Lever Bates, right? Yeah. She was doing stuff backstage, she was doing stuff with the costumes, she was doing makeup stuff, she had been on screen and all that kind of thing. The guy he ain't even got the fucking bollocks to just ring someone up and go, look, you know, you you can't be everyone's fucking pal, mate, if you're the boss. Maybe that's what they hired that journalist. Uh, Will Washington for maybe that's his job now. Who knows? To wipe I'm... Tony Khan's ass because he can't be he can't take control yeah. of his own company. At the end of the day, if you're the boss, you're the man in charge. Everything comes down to you. Take control of your company. We are now still seeing no CM Punk. I don't know if they're longing it out. I have we... I have something. I I have heard one thing regarding CM Punk as to why he might not have been announced or anything like that for Collision is that. On the, the word on the streets is that CM Punk is trying to get a steal back in. <laughs> <laughs> and that's no joke. He's, he's, try, he's trying to get. Is he trying to get his boy back? Bro, he's trying to get his bridge in there. Yeah, but if, you, you know what? It's yeah, like, every he time I hear backup, Ace, that's fine. Every time I hear Ace still, I think of Ace Rimmer from fucking Red Dwarf. You know the ones there. Smoke me a kipper, I'll be back for breakfast. Them ones there. So like, every time I hear Ace still, I just think of Ace Rimmer. Yeah, he wants... The word is that he wants Ace still back in the company. I get it. You want your pal back. He you wants know, a bit he, of backup as well. He's just the guy who had his back, again. yeah. The guy who yeah. allegedly bit Kenny Omega. Yeah, and yammed him up. And threw a couple of shots towards the Bucks. Yeah, is it wise to try and get him back in? Probably not. But you understand the point. He wants his mate back with him because he's fighting a losing battle. We've already said this on the pod, bro. Like CM Punk is now going in there, and he's had all these motherfuckers saying shit about him. He's had Moxley calling him in what's his dick. You've got Omega. You've got the Bucks. You've got the but whole. Th- fucking... They'll all be. They'll all be on dynamite. They won't be venturing over yeah but you have to have them venturing over bruv this is another thing why tony yeah. khan's a pussy hole you have you you can't not have your number one draw aka cm punk languishing on another fucking show when you've got legitimate like fucking storyline that you could be playing out a kayfabe re- you know, real life shit a shoot you know fucking let that play out it's money dude 
Well, this will be the okay. third week in a row that we decide to bring up the the media scrum in the ring. <laughs> it has to be done, bro. I'm telling you, it, it is. You know, it makes great sense. booking. I'm sorry, I, even if I say so myself, it's great booking. It makes perfect sense. Got to. He's got it to be. It, you've got to have CM Punk as the asshole initially, and then you know you. But you know why they won't do it. You know why they won't do it because it will turn people against the Bucks and Kenny Omega and all that. But I don't know now if they're trying to turn Kenny Omega like away from the Bucks or so what what they're trying to do with this Don Don Fallis um fucking storyline. Creep, creepy Don, yeah. Yeah, you know I don't know what's going on there, bruv. There's a lot of. Are they going to have like Kenny Omega and someone versus the Young Bucks at Wembley? Is that what they're edging for for the main event? Time will tell. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it it makes sense that the Bucks are going to fucking shoehorn themselves in to that top of the card of Wembley. Of course they are. Well, I, th- I think a lot of people will be trying to politic their way towards that main event slash semi-main event spot at Wembley. And it wouldn't surprise me if someone like Chris Jericho was working his way towards it as well. Are you um, are you going to be buying a, an offensive T-shirt uh, um, at Wembley. Uh, it's possibly one of the worst t-shirts I've <laughs> ever seen. Like you sent it to me, yeah, and oh my goodness, what a piece of garbage! It's absolute trash. It, for those who don't don't know, um, the Outcast, um, they call themselves what? What they call themselves? The Outcast or the Outcast? I think it's the Outcasts. It's yeah. the Outcast. I'm sorry, Mr. Jackson. Woo-hoo! You know what I mean? Like they're fucking. They they're trying to be the um. The Outsiders from WCW. So it's Ruby, Ruby Soho, Soraya. Tony Storm. Tony Storm. So you've got those three, you know, with their fucking Degeneration X green. People were legitimately just asking the question, why the fuck would you just have a T-shirt with Britt Britt Baker with a black eye? And apparently that's pissing and moaning about a T-shirt. They've now released, legitimately released a T-shirt that literally says in green letters, offensive t-shirt how creative oh mate it's fucking the mind boggles bro i, I still imagine someone like that's, who's that idiot that uh, sidrick will be like one telling them how wonderful it is and telling speaking to his twitterettes about how amazing how thoughtful that t-shirt is bro that's sidrick off, man bro he's Dickhead. a waste man you know you know once when you just see someone's face and you just want to slap them it's one of them ones man i don't often make statements like that but it's like, an on-site beef, is it? On-site beef, brother. Man just looks like he needs a slap, he, you know. And the way he goes on, it's like he's never, never been punched in the face. You know, and people that are just like that entitlement of like, you've never been in a fight, bro. You've never had someone literally just deck you because you've been a dickhead. But yeah, I mean, we've all been in fights for for whatever reasons, you know, or maybe not all of us have. Um, but some people need to get a good slap just to, you know taste their own uh, bodily fluids. Yeah, I didn't want to say the B word, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we're trying to get monetized over here, bitch. Before we move on, let's do yeah. it as quick as we can. Yeah. Sorry, Dumbass, we're going to do it quickly. we do it quickly. For those of you that don't already have your VPN, why are you not covered? Why are you not looking out for yourselves? Surfshark is the way to go. Use the link in our description for 83% off plus three free months. Surfshark, Surfshark will keep you protected wherever you are in the world. Covers all your shit. You'll be able to tell them that if, if you really want to watch some OG WWE Network. And that shit is pretty much. Oh, mate. Just tell them you're in Bognor Regis. Yeah? yeah. Anyone in America, get on this Surfshark VPN. If you want to watch the old school network, just tell them you're in fucking Bognor. Or, you know, tell them you're in... In I London. London Town. London Town. Or... We there's a lot of phone shop references uh, on this podcast. People in America, pretend you're in the UK. Go to all four, yeah, and just type in phone shop and have a little watch of that one great oh British God. sitcom. You're welcome. And you'll love it. Yeah. So please do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just just indulge us. Yeah. Humorous, yeah. but also get that VPN because Surfshark, eighty three percent off, free three free months. Um, and you've got all your protection there. You've got your online protection. You've got your your um your VPN. You've got your um virus uh, software antivirus. Yeah, the antivirus. Yeah. You know, you've got everything there. 
moving on swiftly because that's what we're doing we are talking about aw collision again it for some reason <laughs> it was announced today today is wednesday yeah it was announced today that aw collision will be on saturday nights from june the 17th and the logo is something i'm almost certain that tony khan's idea of market research involved 10 neck beards in a room watching wcw and they'll go yeah i like that that looks good. Yeah, use that logo. Well, we can't. It's WCW. Oh, no, no, just use colours. It has to be a direct mocking or copying of that to mirror it. They're clearly mirroring it. It can't be... I don't give a fuck what anyone says. It can't be coincidence. I mean, friend of the show, Raj Giri, who was on here, he actually tweeted today and you retweeted, didn't you? Yeah. You know, you when you've got both the logos, you know, next to each other, Raj was bang on, bruv. It's like you, there's no way that that could have been done by mistake. Someone has clearly got the WCW logo and literally just changed, made it AEW. The the colours are exactly the same. The layout is exactly the same. The background is exactly the same. It's exactly the fucking same. Piss myself if the music's the same. Dude, absolutely. Can you imagine you know, the old but, nitro music. <laughs> you, you know, you know when it happens, yeah. You you know when when the first show happens, we're gonna have to get a bit of footage from the first bit of collision and then dub over. Hi, this is Tony Schiavone, and you're listening. You're watching WCW Monday Night Nitro. Yeah. You know what I mean? It is literally you do, like you get those visions, like those sort of like in your head, like. You know, WCW Nitro is on the air, you know, and all that. Like, you just think, I'm thinking to myself, this is going to be, what, is Michael Buffer going to do the main event? Oh, please, that would be great. That would be fucking amazing. But, I mean, but again, don't get us wrong. We are huge marks for WCW. We, Absolutely. We, we, you know, hence the meme that we put on Twitter literally yesterday. Of the, um, You know, it was... Oh, sorry, Ron, Ron, Ron Simmons. Yeah, Ron Simmons. Yeah. yeah, so it was it was Ron Simmons' birthday. So um, I saw that and I thought, oh, let me just make a little meme of that. Um, but you know, as as the meme says, Chris and JB can't keep their eyes off old wrestling pay per views. We watch nitros regularly. Do you know what I mean? We, you know, there was a time when me and you and I swear you were the one that told me to do it. You were like, I'm watching all the nitros from the beginning I all went the way through, through the nitros. I mean, I have I have stopped for a bit because yeah. it's, it takes a lot of time. But cool. I did watch Nitro from the beginning, and then in the means, like in between, if it was a pay per view, you have to watch it. If there's a same. I did. I started doing it. Watch it. Yes. Yeah, I started doing the same thing, dude. I started doing the same thing. It was like it's great. We love it, you know. And um, so it's not a slant against WCW, but I've embrace it. Come out and embrace it, and say that you are trying to rekindle that kind of. Monday Night Wars kind of war, you know, WCW versus WWF kind of shit. Just embrace it and admit it. Don't just kind of do shit like that and expect people not to notice. Don't piss on our heads and tell us it's raining. The visual is is fine. It's it's great. It's fine, but embrace but, it. Accept yeah. it. Don't piss on our heads and tell us it's raining because we don't believe you. <laughs> You're right, we don't. Um, <laughs> yes, a lot of people have already made like that the logos are very similar i suppose tnt or whoever must have had a lot of say in it and said yeah this was successful for us in the mid to late 90s let's yeah. see if it'll work again in 2023 wow. <laughs> I mean, it's it's an interesting gambit to say the least it's, you know they're trying to rekindle that that nostalgia okay that's that's what they're going for they're yeah. going for that nostalgia dollar they're going for that, you know. But again, like I've said previously, we spoke about it on the show. This collision is is basically a reason to split the roster up. So people that don't get on and don't like each other can still be on telly. I mean, I've had a couple of questions floating around my head since probably last week. What happens to Rampage? I mean, no one gives a fuck about it anyway. Exactly. Nobody's watching it. Do you really think that you're going to get the same audience you know, on a when from a Wednesday night to move over to Saturday nights as well. The Wednesday night audience is dropping as it is, and SmackDown's going from strength to strength. All I can see now is that you know, from the arguments of Rampage or whatever, like you know, up against this show, that show, NBA, yeah, uh, Vanderpump Rules. That was another one that Uncle Dave used as an excuse. 
Rampage will routinely get beaten by college football. It will get routinely beaten on Saturdays by stuff like that or a baseball game or you know, God knows what else is on on Saturdays in America. I just think it's it's not very wise to put on another two hours of wrestling. But when when are they going to film it as well? Are they fit? so at the They'll moment? Be live, they, surely. Yeah, but no, but this is the thing: they film Dynamite, don't they? And then they and then they do Rampage. Yeah, I think Rampage so film... gets gets recorded after Dynamite a lot of the time. Yeah, so but now. when so when are they get, so you reckon it'll be it'll be live on oh, the yeah. Saturday? Yeah, it'll be live in the same town as the other ones, or what? Oh I no, mean... they they go to a different town, obviously. Like I don't think. But now the touring. There. The touring schedule is going to get a little bit more. Well, they have AEW House Rules, which is their their version of house shows, obviously. And yeah, flooding the market with more shows just doesn't feel right. I get the point. You've got to try. You've got to make an effort. You've got to see see if something works. Do you know what would work? Better booking. Do you know what would work? Hiring these two. Yeah, hiring these two <laughs> bros right here. You know what else will work? Grow some bollocks to take control of your country company. Tell people what's what and what's going on and you're in charge and they will do whatever the fuck you say and we're not here to be pally and, you know, I don't need hangers on, I don't need people kissing my ass, you know, but Tony Khan is a pussy hole and that's what he wants. He wants people kissing his ass, he wants to hug people, he wants to be smiley happy, he wants to be fucking REM all the time, smiley happy people. No, not in a fucking wrestling company, mate. It's your company, multi-million pound, billion pound company, apparently now with the new deal. Take control. Well, Close nothing nothing got mentioned on with regards to numbers or new deals or anything like that. Nothing. Bro, what, what is it with a, every week? It's a new announcement from him, though. It's getting, it's actually getting laughable now. It was laughable before. Could have been a press release, half of them fucking announcements. Well, it should have been. A lot of them should have been. A lot of them were... Yeah, you know, unless unless he wants to come out and shout nine nights from tonight, yeah. then I don't want to know. Something else came to my attention this this week, and I was going to give you the opportunity to solve this because you know we are easily up for Booker of the Year at the minute. Absolutely. How do you solve the Jade Cargill conundrum? She looks fantastic. Everything she has, all the tools. The wrestling is not there. She's in fifty something and O on TV. What do you do with her? I'll tell you what I do with her. Tony, take them fucking, you know, listen up. All you've got to do, blood, is ecoute, yeah? All you've got to do with Jade Cargill is, at the moment, she's stale as fuck. She's absolutely stale. She's got no decent opponents. Those 53 whatever wins in a row don't mean shit. Who's Jobbers. she beaten? Jobbers. Jobbers, bruv. So you're trying to make her the Goldberg of fucking women's wrestling. Fine. Okay. Whatever. Right. We've not saying that she doesn't look a million dollars. She does look a million dollars. Great. Yes. stuff. Okay. She's the face of TBS or whatever. Okay. Fine. What you need to do to spice it up. Right. And to get people back on her side and get a little bit of sympathy for her and get build, build her up again. 53. Fine. It's not quite fucking, you know, Goldberg levels or whatever, right? It's not, it's it, okay, it's great. But how long's that been for? A year, two years? Been a while, isn't it? Been a while. It's been a long time. What you need is someone coming in, a meat lord, a big chunky gal to come in and just batter the shit out of her to absolutely do it, but maybe with a little gang or something, right? So what you need is a little gang to start picking on her, right? And start beating her up. And you need a heel to take the title off her. That's what you need right now. Because at the moment, the way it's going, no one gives a fuck about her title reign, who she's going to face next. She's not faced any real opponents, right? So what you need is people coming in there to spice it up. And Tony, you talk about... You know, he talks about wanting to do push women's wrestling and all this kind of shit. And if you're going to push women's wrestling, you need established, you need established women's stars. So I know they've brought Ruby Soho in and they've brought you know, Tony Storm and they've got Soraya on the other show with Britt Baker doing bits and bobs against our other UK lassie who's got the championship at the moment. 
Um, but she's being forgotten about here, isn't she? she? Again, she's being forgotten about, you know, so because there, it's convoluted. The, this is the problem with AEW. Bad booking. It's, it's bad booking. It's convoluted. There's too many people getting involved in too much shit. There's no real, like, one-on-one stuff going on. Not really. So, you know, this combat club versus this lot and that lot. Tell me one decent one-on-one feud that is actually going on right now that isn't involved in any kind of stable. Sorry, Don't you worry. Hear those, I'll wait. You hear those crickets. Crickets, fam. <laughs> Nothing. It's just everybody chucked into everything because you know why? Again, it boils down to Tony Khan being a fucking pussy hole. You gotta have a top guy, and you've got to make him look like a top guy. Look what WWE, whatever you want to say about Roman Reigns, he's the top fucking guy, and they've booked him and built him like a top guy. That's what you do, bro. You've got to have the face of the company. That's what they should have done with CM Punk. You know what I mean? That's what they should be doing with MJF. Well, who who is the face of the company right now? Is it MJF? Well, is MJF. It, is it Moxley? Well, it, it well so, yeah, but exactly. This is the thing. It ain't. It's 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 so convoluted. Everyone everyone wants to be the top, you know, but you can't. You've got to have that hierarchical structure, and because it builds good shows, it builds good cards, it builds good storylines going forward. If you've got that pecking order. But when you don't have that pecking order, your stories don't mean shit. And then every week it's just going, oh, dream match, dream match, dream oh, yeah, match, but, dream but match. Chris, they, they, you know, these two guys had a match in, you know, on the indie scene in 2019. So it's yeah. it's just it's continuing that story. And I'm oh, fucking hell. It's absolute <laughs> horseshit. It's absolute <laughs> horseshit. So anyway, it's mental gymnastics. It's fucking absolutely mental gymnastics. So yeah, what they've got to do with Jay Cargill, they've got to take the title off her and they've got to get people giving a shit about her again. And the only way to do that is have some kind of like, she's saying, look, you know, I was the top of this game. Someone's coming here, you know, but you've got to have an established star. Put your hand in your pocket, Tony. Put your hand in your pocket and try and get a top fucking star. Try and get a top women star. Another one. To do huh? Who would you pick to do that job? Oh, God, putting me on the spot a little bit. Who, who did who did they, they brought in the former TNA woman's wrestler and then they jobbed her out in a oh, week what? Taya. Taya, uh, Taya no, oh, not Taya Valkyrie no they well no they brought her in what's she doing now jobbed her out yeah jobbed her out yeah you know what I mean you've got these fucking you know Taya Valkyrie should, should have come in and fucking just taken the title off her someone's got to take the title off, off the her. top of my head I can think of Jordan Grace Jordan yeah. Grace yeah um, once she hot once she's off the tour de France you know when she's <laughs> Once she's off that cycle, she can jump in. You know, <laughs> uh, and there it is. Jordan Jordan Grace is one, but you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna raid, what about what about your NWA champion? I mean, absolutely. You, yeah, you know, you got, there's so many things you can do with it. There's so many women out there, good women wrestlers. But Taya Valkyrie again came in. You know, she's strong. She she can easily stand toe to toe with with um. Jade Cargill easily, easily they stand toe to toe with job, her and take job her out. So. They fucking jobbed her out, you know. And um, they had the like I say, they had another. What well, she was in the Beautiful People in um in T- in TNA. She was um and and she was supposedly helping to train the women in uh, AEW. And she came in, they fucking jobbed her out second week. Oh yes, I think I know who you're talking about. You know, the, name, the name escapes. Me. Yeah, same, same. Yeah. They jobbed her out. I like Mickey James. I always have liked Mickey James. I thought she's really good. But what you need, you know, and you, you need someone of a of a high stature to come in, like your fucking Gail Kims or someone like that. You know, Awesome Kong. I don't know if fucking Awesome Kong's still about. Someone like that to come in and just absolutely smash the life out of Jade. And not like that. No, of course. Yeah, we're not talking like, you know, strap keeping, keeping it clean. Keeping it clean. Yeah, you know, someone needs to come in. Beat the crap out of her, maybe a little stable, but I I, I reluctantly say that because oh, there's, the there's too many stables going on in AEW. You need one woman on her own to come in and say, "I want your title, and I'm going to have your title. You're a fucking nobody. I'm a somebody. That's my title. I want it, and I'm going to have it." So if Jazz was still wrestling, someone like a Jazz, someone I, I tell you, what, the only stable you'd consider was um, 
for me would be the two the two Australian girls. Come you see on, what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Oh, mate. Why is, why is their name for, like escape? It's too late at night. That's what it is. It is. It's too. It's too. Um, that absolutely. Someone like that, man. Um, right, an established stable, something that people know, not something you're going to throw together like the factory or the firm or whatever it is they're calling them now. Some other bullshit. It's yeah, just Billy, yeah. Billy Kay and um, yeah. what were they called, man? But the thing is, though, one of them I don't think wrestles anymore. Uh, the one that's married or with Sean Spears, right? Hey, Peyton, Peyton Royce. Yeah, she doesn't wrestle anymore. The inspiration they were called the Iconics. The Iconics. The Iconics, bro. Go. So how did we forget that? I, that's what I'm trying to say, man. We're, it is late, but that's what yeah. I'm. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. You. You know, you could have someone, you've got to have someone big coming in, man. You've got to, just to take that and refreshen it up because it's stale. And and let's be honest, Jade Cargill is a rookie. She's a rookie still. She's yeah. a rookie, bruv. I would like, you know, the only way that anyone's going to give a shit about Jade Cargill really anymore is if she loses the title and then fights to get it back. That's the only way. They've got to, if they want a baby face her, they've got a baby face her properly. She's got to get battered. She's got to be humbled. Someone's going to have to break her back and make her humble. You get what I'm talking about? Someone has got to make her humble. And again, in the cleanest way possible. In the cleanest way possible. Put her in a camel clutch. Someone's got to make her humble. Someone's got to smash the shit out of her, come into the company and say, I want your title. I'm taking your title. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm a veteran. Get a veteran in there. Someone. Someone big, tough. I mean, Ty Valkyrie would have been the one to come in there and go, no, nah, mate, <laughs> you ain't nobody. You ain't done shit in this business. Mm. You ain't drawn a fucking dime. It is disappointing. But, it is, but yeah, I wanted to, pose, I wanted to put, put that question to you because it did yeah. it did come up on the timelines yeah. more than one. And yeah, it's, it's a bit sickening to see that we're still just kicking that can. Poor Jade Cargill just... Yeah, she looks great with the championship, don't get me wrong, but yeah, but the, this is the thing it's it's what good is someone having the championship if they ain't beat nobody and if there's no real there's no real story going on there. It's just she looks great, she's a superstar, she's our champion. Maybe that's enough for them. Yeah, it don't mean it don't mean diddly. Yeah, they need someone to come in and and, and take it off her and for her to then fight back and get it and get it back to pr- make her earn it. Yeah? yeah, like fuck. You know what I'm saying? She yeah. needs to earn it. She hasn't earned it. I don't believe she's earned it. That's why no one gives a shit. With that, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, to yeah, just a lot of the. Again, we said last week there's a lot of saltiness in the wrestling community, but Jesus Christ, some days it does my head in. JB, you, you know, it, it, it the humor and what we do with it is how we deal with sometimes the almost unbelievable yeah. Yeah. takes from these fucking people, bruv. It, the and we don't mean, Yeah, the, it's absurd. It's absurd. So, <laughs> you know, we're, we're not talking about our brethren from the terrible wrestling takes. Our boy, our boy, Matthew. Oh, told you. Yeah? Man Yeah, you know I mean, shout out to our man there, yeah? Shout out. When are you going to come on the show, man? Fuck's sake. We know you're listening as well. You can't hide. We are coming in your ears right now. You can hear us loud and clear. Right, we're like Chorley FM. There's a reference for you coming in your ears. But you know, the, some of the takes from these fuckers are just mind-blowingly stupid. You know, when they talk about stuff that goes on in the E, you know, and you know, it, it, some of the terminology and the Good. right, yeah, it, it it just fucking blows my mind, man. And it it it, yeah. it you know, I tried for it not to make me angry. You know, I tried to just take it with a bit pinch of salt and a bit of humour. But then when you're on this thing, you're on your phone and you, you're looking on Twitter and you, you're seeing this stuff and you're like, are, are these real people? Like, are, are these for real people? There's a lot of... Um, I talk about Australian wrestlers and fucking Nathan Jones came up. Remember that guy? Yeah, yeah. Good old <laughs> Nathan Jones had a... Um, had an interesting run around yeah. WrestleMania 19. Yeah, of course. Yeah, there, there's just some absolutely ridiculous takes. You know, it, it's nonsensical takes. You know, yeah, fucking... there's, there's, there's some serious tribalism that goes with that. You know, the people that 
love what happens in AEW, and there are people that you know use their eyes to see what's going on. Yeah, and don't yeah don't give it the the rose tinted gloss that it's some do. It it the way AEW is being run in 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 the way that it's being run with Tony Khan just wanting to be everyone's friend is never going to work. And in my opinion, it's never going to change. He, he will not wake up one day and just go, what the fuck have I been doing letting these motherfuckers tell me what to do? You ain't, they ain't the boss of me. I'm the boss of me. This is my company. Yeah. It, 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 in, my, in my mind, if it ain't happened now, it ain't never going to happen. Yeah, because he's just too petrified of not being liked in and that is the that is the problem yeah and it ain't it ain't gonna change it ain't gonna get no better until he wakes up and realizes that all these fuckers are just out for themselves not necessarily to make the product better apparently Britt baker said something in some talent meeting of like look we've all got to be on the same page we've all got to be working to make the product better and make the shows better and all this kind of stuff. And Britt Baker at one point was the hottest thing going in AEW. She was yeah, the best. Arguably, yeah. That's... She was the best thing that was happening, male or female, in that company at one time. Where What's, what's she doing stagnant, now? Stagnant. Yeah. Absolutely stagnant because, she, again, they've chucked her in a part of a group because it's let's all play together. You know, if we are all, if they, if you're all together on the screen, you're all getting equal t- screen time, and no one's better than no one else because he's he's trying to he's trying to placate everyone. He's the more, trying to... more people there are on screen, the harder it is to stand out. Yeah, I don't know how anyone hasn't already said this. It's it, it. Someone's it's got to get. I mean, CM Punk, CM Punk said it, bruv. How are you gonna try and middle your top fucking baby face? He said he's it. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. He's not wrong, bro, because he knows the psychology of the business. Here's, here's to you, Phil. Here's to you, Phil. Honestly, CM Punk, man, we know you watch the show. Yeah. Like, you know, it, it's one of the, you know, these guys, they got their VPN going. They're pretending they're oh, in yeah. Calcutta. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretending they're in Australia, right? Yeah, that's why that's why we ended up in yeah the Indian charts. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. You know, so nice, let me everything. let me yeah. give a give a shout out to our Indian listeners or listener. You know, right. Sv- Svagat, I believe, <laughs> is welcome in Hindi. So, you know, yep. let's uh let's let's nice. not let's not fuck about. Let's let's keep these people interested, keep them watching. Absolutely. Um, Chris, I know you're tired, but it's good, baby. Don't have you got the it. have you got the pod news list there by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> Before, I'm... whilst he's looking at the pod, the pod news list, let me tell you that you can obviously subscribe to us on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button, you get some quality content, shorts, long videos, interviews, all the good stuff. Don't forget to follow us on TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We are putting shit everywhere for you guys to see. And of course, if you don't want to see the beautiful faces. You can listen, and Chris is about to tell you where you can listen. You can catch us on Amazon Music, Antenna Pod, Anytime Player, Apple Podcast, Bullhorn, Castomatic, Castbox, Castro, Curiocaster, Fountain, Good Pods, Google Podcasts, G Podder, iHeartRadio, Apple iTunes Podcast, Listen Notes, Luminary, Memento, Moon FM, Overcast, Player FM, Pocket Cast, Podbean, Podcast Addict, Podcast Index, Podcast Guru, Podcast Republic, Podcast Chaser, Pod Friend, Pod Hero, Pod Knife. Uh, Podstation, Podverse, Podvine, Radio Public, Sonic, Spotify, Stenio FM, Stitcher, Android, and your RSS themed. And breathe. Fucking so A, baby. So good. That is where you can catch us. We're everywhere. Can't get away from us. You literally cannot get away from us yet. And if you want to double check if you didn't think you heard your preferred listening medium, go to Pod News podnews.net go into the search bar type in chat grapple and cheat pops podcast and then you'll find us click on us and then the list will appear soon to be added only fans on the bottom of that oh goodness he's talking about only fans again bro i'm telling you man that's the only way forward we're gonna have to do it mate of course let us tell you before we leave 
you are currently listening to Chris and JB. We are the guys that are giving you the good news. We are bringing you up, not even up to date. It's just, we're just spot on. It's just common sense though, JB. Yeah. That's the thing, bruv. We've been it's spot the, on. It's just the annoying thing. It's like, we're not really even like doing any kind of revelatory shit, bruv. We're just looking at it and going, yeah, that's, that's probably the more logical thing that's going to happen. And it happens. And if Fucking you like, if you hallelujah. like your logical wrestling, you like your unbiased takes. We were the ones that told you that AEW's, you know, Wembley date. We are the ones that broke that. We are the guys. We them ones. Yes, we are the ones. If you will, we're the ones that said that AJ Styles should be in the you know world title match with Seth Rollins. Mm -hmm. We are also the guys. What else did we tell them? We told them about AEW Collision. Yeah, we told him that Roman Reigns would be at Money in the Money Bank, in the bank. and yet, yeah, you know, at the O2 in mm -hmm. London. Yeah, we are those guys, and we're not doing it because you know we need to. We need that gratification, like a Meltzer or a Fightful or anything like that. We just do yeah. it because we love wrestling, and we are two guys that just love doing this. We really enjoy it. We have we've been doing this for three fucking years. Yeah, I feel like I could do it for another at least fifteen. Bro, you know what? Once the, the, the thing is, yeah, we once we're on the OnlyFans and we've got that kind of exclusive content, Ooh. that's when we can really start like opening them cans of worms, right? We because it, it's quite an wondering, interesting what, wondering what you were opening on the OnlyFans just then. Do you get what I'm saying? But like when when on the OnlyFans, we can start if if people, you know, really want to hear us like book uncensored. Stuff. Yeah, you know, uncensored, bruv, unleashed, yeah. Like we, you know. Give us something to talk about that that really will upset people if it was on YouTube or if it was on wherever. On OnlyFans, you know what you're getting. You pays your money, you takes your chance. And, you know, we're not even talking about having, like, huge fucking, you know, some, some of these women on, on OnlyFans or whoever, you know, they're charging a fucking fortune for their tears. You know, we wouldn't even be like that. We'd have, like, a $1 tier, you know, $5 tier or whatever. You know, chuck, chuck us a fiver, buy us a coffee or something. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, and we will happily rant about stuff. It'll be like those old Jerry Springer tapes. Too hot for TV. Too hot for TV, bruv. Trust me. <laughs> too too raw for YouTube, you know what Shout I mean? out to Jerry himself. Oh, rest in peace, Jerry. Yeah. Passed away Bless a couple him. weeks back. Yeah, Born in London, time, mate. Exactly. Born in London, old Jerry Springer. Um, so yeah, let's let's leave it there. We are we are two very very tired guys right now. Yes, it is it is quarter to the midnight. It is, bro. I turned into a wolf in fifteen minutes. In a on a Wednesday night, <laughs> we will not be staying up to watch Dynamite because God help us, why would we? Yeah, that's right. Thank you so much to everyone that has been listening, watching, doing whatever you've been doing to these sounds and videos. <laughs> And yes, we will say goodbye for now. I am JB, the man sitting next to me, as always, the best Chris in all of wrestling podcasts, Mr. Chris Dredd. Thank you so much, guys. We love you. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care, everyone.